So I love Pinterest and I've done a few videos in the past where I talk about outfit ideas that are inspired by Pinterest photos. And that's kind of what I'm doing in this video, except we're gonna winterize these outfits and make sure that it flows with what I have in my wardrobe. Jumping onto Pinterest to get outfit inspiration is a great way to save time in your day. So I'm gonna go through all the outfits with you, break down why I did what I did. But first, I just wanna say a quick thank you to this video's sponsor, Farfetch. Now let's get into the first look. This outfit is inspired by Cozy Winter Whites. Two components that I really like here is the tailored look on the left, and then on the right, we have a more relaxed look with a lug sole boot. So I'm gonna start with a base layer of white lounge pants and then an off-white cashmere sweater. This one is from Everlane. And I kinda like how the off-white and the white pair together. It's not a typical combination, but I feel like when we're styling winter clothes or any clothes in general, it's really important to pay attention to the details, the subtlety and the nuances of the different shades of white or even black black and how it flows together. So to tie in the off-white and then the stark bright white, I'm going to pair a tailored coat. This one is beige and it's wool and it's from Remain. And I like how it adds a neutral pop to this outfit. Had it not been for that coat, might have felt a little disconnected, but that addition to the beige color really helps tie everything in together. So the accent color here is almost the white lounge pant, and then the neutrals in the boot, the neutrals in the coat, the beanie, even the glasses, everything ties in in a way that feels very cohesive. I love how the lounge pants look with the tailored coat. I think it's a really great relaxed look and it's perfect for casual wear. The next look is gonna be menswear inspired, but what we're gonna do is add some femininity to the outfit so that it doesn't feel so heavy. So I'm starting off with a base layer of a pair of black trousers. These are a pair of pleated ones, and I swear these are my absolute favorite trousers ever. And I did link a similar ones down in the description box for you below. Since the model on the left was wearing a pair of chunky sole boots, I decided to take out my Philip Lim combat boots. I think this is a good way of adding a little bit of visual interest to the outfit. And then for the belt, I decided to add a little black one. This just kind of breaks up that black on black texture and it adds a little bit of definition to the waist. While both of my Pinterest photos show black on black outfits, I decided that it would be fun to just kind of break up all of that black and add a little bit of a neutral pop. I'm wearing my vintage bag from Louis Vuitton. This one is from LXR. It is a Virgil Abloh design from the menswear collection. And then to tie in that neutral pop, I decided to go for those Tom Ford glasses. They are a light tint, like a 10% tint, and they do have my prescription in them, by the way. And then the beanie is a beige one, so it kind of ties it back to that LV monogram in the bag. Again, it's all about the subtle details when we're doing these outfits. It's important to look at our inspiration photo and to become inspired by them, but not copy them literally. That way we can work with our wardrobes and just come up with new combinations and keep our closets feeling fresh. All right, the menswear fashions are currently being shown and Gucci showed their fall winter 2023 collection and I nearly passed out when I saw it because it was so, so good. It also feels very much like me, very much an extension of my personal style. They, um, I think in Vogue or Bazaar, they described it as indie sleaze and I feel like that is so me. So before I get completely carried away, let's just talk about what I'm gonna be adding to this look in order to add a pop of femininity to this outfit because because it is rather androgynous. So I'm styling this look with these tabby ankle strap shoes that I recently picked up on Farfetch. These ones are from Maison Margiela and I decided to go for a size 37 and they fit perfectly. I also ended up getting this bodysuit from Meza Margiela as well because it is the perfect layering piece for my looks all year round. I did get that one in a size 40 Italian, which is the equivalent of a size 36 in French sizing or even a size small in the US. So I will be sure that I link everything down in the description box for you below, along with my Farfetch code 10 Natalie M, which will give you 10% off your first Farfetch order. 
By the way, this is super nerdy, but both of these items ship from the Margiela store in Italy. And I was really stoked about that. So much so that I actually showed my husband the receipt and I said, hey, look at how cool Farfetch is. I know that they ship from all around the world, but this one came from the Margiela store in Italy. And he, I think he did enjoy that for me. So thank you, Jeff, for humoring me and the nerdy fashion person that I am. In addition to being able to shop all over the world and being able to shop brands like Jill Sanders, Stella McCartney, Versace, um, the reason that I like Farfetch is because all of the duties and customs, everything is already built into the final price that you pay. So when something does arrive from the Margiela store in Italy, you're not going to be slammed with a bunch of surprise customs and border fees and things like that. So I just love how easy they make shopping and also returns because I have gotten a considerable amount of my Margiela collection from Farfetch at this point and there have been some things that haven't worked out and the returns are so seamless. I can't even explain how seamless they are. So clearly I'm very excited about these shoes, so much to the point where I almost fell over. And this is actually the first time that I'm wearing them in this video. I haven't actually worn them out in real life as of yet, but I'm very excited too. And I love the way that they go with these oversized jeans. It ties it back to that look that I was inspired by with the Gucci menswear show. I love that they have that oversized denim. This feels more like a boyfriend denim on me. I decided to add that tailored element to it with the Frankie Shop vest and then the Ohm Girls blazer. Those aviators are kind of like a nod to vintage slash 1970s, which we know uh, Gucci is so good at doing. They're always mixing contemporary with vintage. They blend it so well. And I just love the way that this looks. I'm not entirely sure I would have come up with this outfit combo had it not been for the Gucci styling. And they really did such a good job. I absolutely loved everything that they showed on that runway show. So I'm excited to recreate more of those looks using my personal style. Fine tailoring is something that I'm inspired with in these looks. Even though there's that flowy skirt and that tough combat boot, I love that there's a tailored element that's kind of subtle and it ties in the more flowy skirt and the combat boots really nicely. So I'm going to start off with a cashmere turtleneck. This just adds a little bit of softness to that streamlined tailored midi skirt. And then the belt just adds kind of a contemporary twist. It's something a little bit unexpected. Normally with a look like this, you might expect just like a typical single buckle belt, but this one does have the double buckle and it is from La Mer and I think it is such a cool piece. The boots add a little bit of toughness. So even though we have these tailored pieces that could almost read as office wear, adding that unexpected shoe just makes it more fashion forward. And then that blazer is a little oversized. Of course it is tailored, so it helps make the outfit a lot more cohesive. And then I'm just gonna be putting on a tailored jacket over top. This one is also from Ohm Girls, as is the blazer. And again, it's just black, it's wool, and it is a timeless piece. Everything that I'm wearing is timeless. Everything that I'm wearing could work with different seasons, which is why I like to invest in key pieces like this. From fine tailoring to more relaxed tailoring, I was inspired by these photos that I found on Pinterest of the Celine Resort collection. So I decided to take some more relaxed pieces and I am going for a white outfit again. So I, I hope you don't come for me. I'm so sorry if this feels repetitive, but I hope that you see the differences in this outfit versus the one at the very beginning. So these pants that I'm wearing are kind of like a crinkly organic cotton. These ones are from Everlane. And then I'm going to be hiding that drawstring underneath the belt just to add a little bit of visual interest and then to break up that white on white or I should say off-white and off-white. The sweater is the same one that I was wearing earlier and it is that uh, recycled cashmere one from Everlane. And then I'm gonna ground this with black pieces. So the black beanie is an accessory that's gonna help tie everything in together along with that black wool coat. This one again is from Ohm Girls and then the black loafers from Maison Margiela. So the outfit is all off-white 
and black and I just like that it feels different enough from the first one where I was wearing that beige long coat and it is a great look. It's kind of tailored but more relaxed tailoring if that makes sense and it's something that I could wear while I'm out to dinner with friends or even off at brunch or even if I'm just stepping away casually and I just want to look put together. So this is a great all-around outfit and I know it's going to keep me warm in the winter. I hope you enjoyed all of these Pinterest inspired outfits. I also want to say a quick thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll link all the info down in the description box below. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, all over the place. I'll leave all of my info down below if you do want to follow me there. Thank you everybody for watching and supporting my channel. It means so much to me and I really do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.